regardless of if you're in a relationship with the mother of the child or you whatever it may be just know that they need your support just make sure that you're there for your child you support their mother rather that's you have to support from a distance but just give her the props that she needs to make sure that she's doing what she needs to do as a mother and then moms keep in mind you gotta open up a little bit and be willing to let the father in let that dad in you know to the best of your ability i know sometimes it presents challenges and it may not be as easy as it seems you know easier said than done but if you're able to at least get it a, give it a shot then just do so because then at the end of the day you'll be able to say i tried i gave it a try it didn't work and this is what's best for my little one or ones you know but it's, it's okay it wouldn't hurt they they're great supporters if you give them a chance hey tell me now you need that support one thing that we do need to touch on is even though i may be a good support and mothers may not have someone that may be there to be that support for them moms have to know ask for help there's nothing wrong with asking for help as a parent so just know that asking for help doesn't make you weak in any type of way nope because i'd be quick to raise my hand listen i need a little help i need a little sister and keep in mind your support may not be a significant other a boyfriend the father of your child that may not be your support but your support may be a family member a friend a someone in the community absolutely well, I mean, wherever you can get that support, because moms, you know, this is a full-time job and beyond. No one could pay us to be the mothers that we are. But I bet they understand now that we're in this COVID-19 yeah. and we're quarantining Ooh, and knowing that geez. we're spending extra time right now. So a oh little help God. and a little support from other people won't hurt at all. So know away. that you're not weak in any type of way. Nope. Actually, it shows that you're strong and you're able to go out there and you're reaching out for help whenever right. it's needed. Right, so check this out, check this out. Let's not forget about those mothers that may not have their children right now because they're getting assistance from say family members or so forth. You're okay, that's okay, queen. Listen. You're making that decision for your little one. Sometimes we need a reset. Sometimes I need some me time. Right. Me time is very important. For the mental health we have to always remember that mental health is very important so if you need a little time ask for that help hey can you watch the kids for a little bit or just for the weekend there's nothing wrong with that doesn't make you a bad mom just know that hey just remember if you need the help ask for the help it's okay queen it doesn't make you any lesser it does not mean um you're letting anybody belittle you it does not mean that you're not enough what it means is you're making the best decision for you and your children so that you guys all together can move forward and have a better life. It's okay, Trust queen. Me. There's yes. not a problem. Ask for that help. Okay, hey, look, like I told you, I'll be quick to raise my hand, okay? So put that pride in your pocket, queen, and let's get together and let this village help out when it comes to our little ones. So let's just touch on the, the ones who aspire to have children but may can't know produce those children themselves or whatever right. it may be what about those ones that can't have children? let me right get now? a little personal with that one and i would like to personally apologize for being so selfish in that area you know i went through a little situation and do i really believe it was due to my hormones but i went through a little situation where i cried and i was a bit disappointed because i wanted a little girl the second time around and i got a little boy you know i guess god saw fit for a little boy and i mean now i'm ever so grateful then i was so selfish and now cut it out you know what i'm saying big crocodile tears but seriously you know what a special kudos to our foster mom hey. our adoptive mom listen here you made a choice to step up and take care of a child that you did not birth that may have came with who knows you know the issues or the experiences they've had they've had but you did that queen and i acknowledge you i give you a special heads off so just keep in mind that you know just being a mom is not just physically carrying and uh birthing a child there's uh you know you could be a mom of dreams brother you're birthing dreams you're birthing hey whatever it is that you aspire yeah. to do just know that you're a good mom and we salute you for that absolutely happy mother's day i can't say it enough.
enough. I mean, it's very important. Just know, you do not have to be perfect. And this only, I know it's Mother's Day, but this goes for my queens and this goes for my kings. Come on, you guys. Let's join together and raise these children. Let's get out here. I, I, I mean, we need them to take over. We need them to supersede anything that we could have ever Imagine. Let's join together as a community, as a village. Drop those comments below. Come on, let's continue to encourage each other because yes, you know yes. being a mother is a lot of work. And sometimes all it takes is that one comment, that one person to say, you got this, girl. Don't give up, girl. I'm here. And let me hold your hand. Let me send you an air hug, a virtual hug. Give oh, me a call. Oh, because we're quarantining right now. <laughs> but, you know, not only that, I just see us support. In ourselves. I mean, I may be in Florida, you may be in Virginia, baby girl. That was for you. She's so <laughs> that Mom, was she's for so you, extra. okay? But at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, regardless of the type of mother that you are, whether you're the one who lose herself, you're that go hard, you're that hustler, that overcomer, or even the one that's overprotector, mm -hmm. whatever it is, that whatever educator. type of mom, educator, cook. She don't cook, so we ain't gonna get into that. Come on, um, the spiritual one, <laughs> hallelujah. Whichever type of Oh my god. Bruh. I think you get wrong, y'all. Hit it for me one time, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> but regardless of the type of mother that you are, just know that you were meant to be the mother that you are. We can always grow, we can always improve upon what we're doing. But just remember, there's no such thing as a perfect mother or a perfect parent. But just know that you are perfect for the child that God gave you. Absolutely. And if you don't remember anything else from this, just remember you got this, queen. You, you can got do it. this. Kings, we need you to step up. We need your support. If you're already supporting, hey, King, salute to you. Thank you so much for being there. It comes to Tori and Tierra. We are imperfect, imperfect but perfect, perfect for each, each other. other. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to cut on those notifications. Leave a comment if you have to. Thank you for tuning in with us. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.